Aleksandar Kolarov is a Serbian professional footballer who plays for English club Manchester City and the Serbian national team. Although primarily a left back, Kolarov can also operate anywhere along the left flank and is known for his overlapping runs on the wing and his ball striking ability. He was named Serbian Player of the Year in 2011. Kolarov began his career at Red Star Belgrade, but he did not break through and moved on to Anna Karajki in 2004. Two years later he joined OFK Biograd before moving abroad for the first time by signing for Lazio of Syria, where he won the Coppa Italia and Super Coppa Italiana in 2009. In 2010 he joined Manchester City, and has won two Premier League titles, the FA Cup and the League Cup. He made his senior international debut for Serbia in 2008 and has since earned over 50 caps. Kolarov was a member of Serbia's squads for the 2008 Olympics and the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Club career, Kolarov's football career started in the Red Star Belgrade youth system. He spent five years in the club, but never made the first team. Equals Alakarayaki equals, during January 2004. 18-year-old Kolarov moved across town to Anna Karajki, which played in the top-tier Serbia Montenegro League. Signing a three-year contract, he finished out the 2003 Euro 04 season in the club's youth setup and during summer 2004 got introduced to full squad. Making 27 league appearances in his debut season, the youngster left a good impression, but couldn't help the Beliga team avoid relegation. He started the 2005 Euro 06 campaign for Anna Karajki in the second-tier league competition, but during the winter break controversially transferred to top-tier league club OFK Biograd. Equals OFK Biograd equals, Kolarov joined OFK Biograd in February 2006 and finished out the season with them, scoring his first league goal. Equals Lazio equals, in the summer of 2007, OFK Biograd sold Kolarov to Italian side Lazio for a 925,000. Kolarov's first goal for Lazio came at the Stadio Arrest Granillo in Reggio Calabria on September 30, 2007, as he hit a rocket from 38 metres to secure a draw against Loli Rudbina. During his first season in Rome, the 21-year-old Serb also got to play in the UEFA Champions League for the first time, making his debut on October 24, 2007 away at Werder Bremen. In his second season in Italy, Kolarov established himself as Lazio's first choice at left back, scoring a spectacular goal against Lex at the Stadio Viaduct del Mare. It got even better for the Serbian in the second derby della Capitale of the season. With Lazio 3 a Euro 2 up, Kolarov received the ball in defence from goalkeeper Fernando Maslora and proceeded to run the length of the pitch virtually unopposed. Having run 85 metres, Kolarov then slotted the ball past a hapless Dunny in the Roma goal. On May 13, 2009, Kolarov played in the 2009 Coppa Italia final against Sampdoria. The match finished 1-1 after extra time, and Kolarov scored one of Lazio's penalties in the resultant penalty shootout helping Lazio win the trophy and capping a great season for the Serbian. Lazio and Inter Milan travelled to Beijing in August 2009 to play the 2009 Super Coppa Italiana. Kolarov picked up his second winner's medal, with Lazio defeating Inter 2-1. As the 2009 Euro 10 season drew to an end, Kolarov was instantly linked with a move away from Lazio with Manchester City and Real Madrid interested. Equals Manchester City equals on July 24, 2010 it was announced that he had signed for Manchester City for a £16 million. On August 17, 2010, Kolarov made his Premier League debut in a 0-0 draw against Tottenham Hotspur at White Hart Lane. On January 18, 2011, Kolarov scored his first goal for the club in a 4-0-2 victory over Leicester City in the FA Cup while on February 2, 2011, Kolarov recorded his first Premier League goal from a free kick in a 2 a Euro 2 draw against Birmingham City. He played the full 90 minutes as City won the 2011 FA Cup final. The summer 2011 arrival of Gore El Clichy to the club marginalised Kolarov's role in the squad and he saw his first team opportunities greatly reduced. On September 14, 2011, 
he scored an equaliser for City in the 1 the Euro 1 draw against Napoli in their first 2011 a Euro 12 UEFA Champions League group stage match. On October 1, 2011, he started and played the full 90 minutes in the left back slot against Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park in a 0 a Euro 4 away victory in the Premier League. On March 31, 2012, he added another with a long range swing which earned City a point against Sunderland at home after coming back from 3 a Euro 1 down. He ended that season with 12 league appearances, enough for a medal, as Manchester City won the 2011-12 Premier League in dramatic circumstances on the last day of the season. On September 18, 2012, he scored a free kick in a 3 a Euro 2 Champions League defeat at Real Madrid. He went on to score in the League Cup loss to Aston Villa and in their match against Sunderland, he scored another free kick just five minutes into the match. Kolarov scored from the penalty spot in City's 3 Euro 2 comeback victory over Bayern Munich in the final match of their Champions League group on December 10, 2013, securing his side a spot in the knockout stages of the Champions League for the first time in club history. He scored his only goal of the 2013-14 Premier League season on January 1, 2014, netting past goalkeeper Gerard Tremel as City defeated Swansea City by a score of 3 a Euro 2. On May 11, he won his second Premier League trophy with Manchester City after making 30 appearances in the league, and 44 in all competitions. On June 12, 2014, Kolarov signed a new three-year deal with Manchester City, keeping him at the club until 2018. He also changed his squad number from 13 to 11. International career, Kolarov was a part of the successful Serbia under-21 side which reached the final of the 2007 U21 Championships held in the Netherlands. As a key member of that side, Kolarov was named in the UEFA team of the tournament. In the semi-final clash with Belgium, he scored a free kick from long range. He also represented Serbia at the 2010 FIFA World Cup and played a major role in Euro 2012 qualifiers and friendlies. Kolarov was eventually rewarded for an impressive 2011 with the Serbian Footballer of the Year award. On September 11, 2012, he scored his first goal for Serbia during a 6 a Euro 1 win against Wales in a 2014 World Cup qualifier. On June 7, 2013, he scored from a free kick against Belgium in a 2014 World Cup qualifier. On September 7, 2014 he scored the equaliser in a 1-1 draw with France. Outside football. Equals transfer controversy equals, Kolarov's switch from FK Alakaraki to OFK Biograd in February 2006, during the 2005 Euro 06 season winter break, was highly controversial. Under contract with Alakaraki at the time, Kolarov filed a request to be released dated January 31, 2006 on the grounds of contract expiry even though it was good until January 2007. Soon after handing in his request to Anna Karayaki, Kolarov publicly stated his desire to join OFK Biograd. Seeing that they had a disgruntled player on their hands, Anna Karayaki set a a 300,000 transfer fee for Kolarov due to the fact he still had one more year left on his contract with the club. OFK for their part simply ignored this fact and simply signed Kolarov without paying a fee. Over the coming years Anna Karayaki took the case in front of Serbian Football Association, where all of their official complaints got rejected. Year and a half later, during summer 2007, when Kolarov was sold by OFK Biograd to SS Lazio for 800,000, Anna Karayaki president Aleksandr Mihailovia went public with an accusation that Kolarov was stolen from Anna Karayaki by OFK Biograd. For that, he was punished by Serbian FA on the verbal offence grounds and given a year-long ban on performing any functions in Serbian football. The entire Kolarov case was featured in early 2008 on B92 Television's investigative journalism program in Sorda that focused on criminal activities in Serbian football. The program claims that Kolarov's case was part of a wide initiative by Serbian FA President Zvizdan Terzia who made sure young promising players signed for OFK and then raised their transfer price by making sure they get playing time in the U21 national team. Equals Christmas videos equals, 
In December 2012 Kolarov appeared in a Christmas video uploaded to Manchester City's website, reciting the carol Jingle Bells in a deadpan style that went viral on the internet. Following the popularity from the last year's video, in December 2013 Kolarov delivered his rendition of Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which also went viral following much anticipation. Career Statistics Equals Club Equals, as of October 25, 2015 Equals International Equals, as of match played October 11, 2015 International Goals, Score and Result Lists Serbia's Goals First Honours, Lazio, Coppa Italia, 2008 Euro 09, Super Coppa Italiana, 2009, Manchester City, Premier League, 2011 a Euro 12, 2013 a Euro 14, FA Cup, 2010 a Euro 11, Football League Cup, 2013-14, FA Community Shield, 2012. Equals individual equals, Serbian Player of the Year, 2011. References. External links. Alexander Kolarov Career Statistics at Soxabase, Alexander Kolarov at Representation RS, Manchester City FC Profile.